851, turn right heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. In recent months, we've been hearing a lot of rumours that Boeing would reveal their new middle of the market airliner at the 2018 Farnborough Air Show, set to commence in the middle of July for one week. The reveal would mean the aircraft would be ready to launch officially in the mid-2020s and of course would rival the Airbus A321 Neo series. While many said again the Farnborough Air Show would bring the potential reveal, the CEO of Boeing has now stated he expects the launch to occur within a year, potentially coming more likely in 2019 rather than 2018. While this isn't a huge difference, one year is still one year, and means the wait for some carriers continues to extend. All the while, Boeing's competitor, the A321, is rather expanding in variants and offerings. Seeking Alpha are the ones who are reporting this news, and it's in my opinion really interesting. While 2019 is now not that long away, the hype surrounding the 797 is quite huge, especially with its potential and what it could mean for the industry if executed properly. If all goes according to plan with the aircraft itself, Boeing expect units sold to be in the thousands. When looking at the official release date from the Boeing CEO, I do highly doubt we'll be seeing anything at the Farnborough Air Show, unfortunately. If we look into the future, however, in early 2019, there is the Singapore Air Show. If I was to put my bets on a release date, it'd probably be then. Of course, knowing Boeing and the industry on a whole, this could change, and it may even be 2022. But I'd like to personally think Boeing would realise the demand for the aircraft, and at the very least, reveal it sooner rather than later, which of course may be beneficial to the program. As I'm still on the topic of release dates, you may wonder why I think that the reveal time is critical to a program's success. It takes a quick look at other aircraft programs and their release dates to see the varying success programs have. The few examples I have on hand include the 7478, A330neo, and also the 777X. While all different aircraft, the thing these three have in common is their odd times of release. The Boeing 747 was introduced, in my opinion, too late, and when the trends in the industry were shifting, meaning the airlines were opting for the fancy 787 over it. As for the A330neo, while it offers carriers a lot, the classic A330s are still being delivered, and with most carriers, they are relatively new, meaning the immediate need for a replacement isn't on the horizon for most carriers. This goes for the 777 series as well. While some are old with carriers, others are still new, and therefore a replacement isn't needed in the next couple of years. My concern for the 797 program is the timing of the release, and how it fits in with the final few 767s and 757s departing various airlines. If not timed correctly, those airlines removing this aircraft may in turn opt for the A321, as they don't want to wait X amount of years extra. This is just my two cents on the release date and what it means for the program, but to sum up, Boeing will likely be completing the grand reveal of their new middle of the market airliner dubbed to be the 797 within a year, with the 2019 Singapore Air Show now the new potential release location and of course days. However, others may share a different view to mine, so I ask you, when do you think Boeing will reveal their 797 or middle of the market airliner to the public for the very first time? Drop the year and even the location in the comment section below. I for one know it'll be exciting to see who's correct. I'd like to thank you very much for the continued support you show on all of my videos. We're nearing 80,000 subscribers, which is pretty incredible. So I'd like to thank you very much once again, and I look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly